Hi, Brownie Chef. Here's a new video for you. Come on, let's go. No BS type of reviews. Brownie Chef the doggo. He's brown and he's cute. He's the puppy king. He's fair but true. When it comes to padding, he's a good boy, you can bet. So get ready, get set. It's your friend, Brownie Chef. <laughs> Hey there, fellow littles and pups! I'm your host, Brownie Shepherd, and welcome to another No BS Diaper Review, where the only BS is me, Brownie Shepherd! I've got my favorite plush, and I've got my favorite sippy cup, so without further ado, let's talk about another padding product. So, today on episode 88 of Brownie Shep Diaper Reviews, we're going to talk about what is possibly my favorite diaper the Tykables will ever make. And it is... Yeah, the Puppers! Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I'm a Paw Patrol nerd. That's kind of why I like these. And uh, so they, they just have the three characters on the front. You see the little superhero character and the, and the, you know, and the Dalmatian and then the police doggy and all three of them are just kind of there and they, they got the little cage and not sure what that thing is inside the cage but it's there and so you have the all over print as you can see you know the package just the normal thing um, and this is again probably my favorite diaper from them i'm biased because i'm a puppy and i like puppy things and so you have the checklist over here it's the back to school checklist which is kind of cute and so you have uh, the backpack or diaper bag and then you have your plushie and extra diapers and pacifier and snacks and your phone. So you just have a little bit of everything on there. I like these checklists that they're slightly different. One of the coolest things that they do. But anyway, without further ado, I want to tear on into this and show you the four different prints of the puppers because they are my favorite diaper if you couldn't tell from Taika Balls. So here's the first print. And this is the one that had some controversy sometimes. I personally don't see a problem with it. It's a toy gun, guys. Come on. But anyway, uh, so this is the police doggy. And he's like a boxer or a pit bull. Not exactly sure. And I'm just going to say real quick, yes, I do know that these doggies have names. And I do know some of the names. But I am not going to tell you because I want to entice you to go and look at Tykeable's website and read the review on these. They're just so cute. Um, but anyway, so... Uh, this one you have the, you know, you have the police doggy and you have the little teddy bear there that's apparently the robber and he's taking care of business. So he's holding him at bay and it's blue on the background. So this might be my kind of favorite print maybe, uh, but I do love all the puppy prints. But anyway, you've got these sort of all over design, which is spade when wet for this. And you have the red fire hydrants and then you have the blue police cars, the blue puppy paws, and then yellow handcuffs and yellow uh, puppy paws. So this is definitely a diaper that you would use if you were into pup play or if you're just an ABDL that's a puppy like me. Either way, it works good. But yeah, uh, so I'm going to show you more of the prints and give you more stats on this cute diaper. So here's the second print and this one is the Firehouse Doggy and he's Dalmatian. I know that breed and uh, so he's got the ABC blocks and there's a fire and so he's putting it out so he's being a good doggy and it's red in the background so it's kind of cool for the fire and other than that it's basically the same uh, this is a kind of crinkly diaper kind of in the middle uh, you can see it's kind of thick it's kind of in that middle range of course uh, this is a 6,000 milliliter diaper so keep that in mind it's actually got good absorbency on it and it actually holds really well so yeah uh, let's look at the third print now. So, this is the third print, and this is the superhero doggy. Might be a spaniel, not, not necessarily sure. Uh, but again, enticing you by not telling you the names or the exact breeds by having you look it up, because you can find it on Tykeable's website. And uh, so you can see he's kind of chasing after the, the teddy bear and he's going to get that culprit and it's yellow and so these are four tape diapers they have the adhesive uh not adhesive hook and loop tapes that's what they are and so it's the hook and loop system so velcro so you can refasten them two on the bottom and two on the top and then you have the nice leg guards with these so they actually work really well that's kind of the inside it's it's just a really nice diaper and it actually again it's just one of my favorites 
Um, and so, without further ado, I want to show you the fourth print, which is, in my opinion, the coolest. So, the fourth print is actually the one that's basically on the front of the package. So you have what you saw on the front of the package. You have all three of them together. And so happy together. And um, anyway, so uh, then, then you have them and they, they've caught the culprit. He's in jail or he's in the playpen. They, they put him where he needs to be, okay? And um, so if you want this diaper, this diaper is available in three sizes. When you can get it, because it does sell out fast because puppers are popular. And so it's a 28 to 36 for medium, 36 to 48 for large, which I wear, and then a 48 to 56 for extra large. So it's just a really cute diaper. Again, one of my favorites. So you can probably guess where we're going, but I'm still going to give my stats just because I can, and it's my channel and my show. So without further ado, let's get on to it. So overall, what's my review is if you couldn't tell of the Tykables Puppers, they're a five out of five. These, admittedly, I'm being biased because uh, I'm an ABDO, but also a pup. And so having that sort of connection uh, between different things, just kind of, you know, being furry trash. I just absolutely love these. And then Paw Patrol, the aesthetic where it's different, but it's similar in its cadence a bit. It's just so cool and so cute. And I just absolutely love it. And so it just, it just gives me little vibes. I love the fade when wet. I love that. It's got the toddler tough plastic. It's got the shell. It's 6,000 milliliters, so it works well. It's not, you know, the most absorbent thing on the market, but doesn't matter. It'll hold you up for a long time. And it breathes well, and I love the tapes. I, I, again, the elastic waistband is great. Everything's great about this diaper. And if you really want to get some, then I highly, highly recommend it. This is probably one of my top three diapers that I'll ever have. And uh, so this is uh, available on Tykable's website. You can get a sample for $6, or you can get a 10-pack for $45, or you can get a 40-pack, which is a half case, and you can get that for roughly about $120, or you can go full out and just have a heyday, and you can get 80 diapers, which is a case for roughly $230. Keep in mind, this is of the time of recording this video, so that may change due to inflation and shipping where you might be. So keep that in mind, but definitely check them out. They have a whole line of clothes that goes along with this, and most of their different products have clothing lines and stuff. But this one, definitely, I absolutely love it. It's amazing. I have the pajamas to go with it and everything. So be sure to check them out and find out the names of the puppers and get you some puppers and be a happy puppy today. And that concludes today's No BS Diaper Review episode. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it makes our plushies happy. <laughs> so until next time, from this crinkly canine to all of you and the No BS crew, stay possum, love life, and play nice. Bye-bye!